Hey friend, it is I, Candy, with Sweeter Than Candy. Welcome to those of you who are new. Um, and for those of you who are veterans, hey girl, hey, hey guy, hey. Um, I just wanted to hop on really quickly. Um, I am about to head out, but I had a thought and I wanted to share it with you. Um, and that thought was a couple of days ago, but I failed to get on here, make a video, because I'm always, y'all know, y'all follow, I'm ripping and running, doing the mom thing, right, with three kiddos. But the thought process or the idea came into my head the other day. And clearly, if you're following my posts, my most recent post, um, my oldest son's promotion ceremony and him moving on and transitioning to middle school has definitely had an impact on me, clearly, because I keep posting about it, right? But it's given me different perspectives on so many different things about life. So even just me changing my hair color, that was a post, if you haven't seen that. But today... Um, his ceremony and some other things that took place today, which unfortunately is the elementary school shooting that has broken my heart. So I wanted to connect some dots in the thought process that I was thinking. A few days ago, I was thinking like um, a friend of mine was questioning or saying kind of like, girl, you celebrate everything about your kids, you know, their promotion ceremonies, their birthdays. I do it big for those. Um, and I'm not saying big as in monetarily, but I'm just my personality alone, as you can see here on the blog, is living out loud and to enjoy and embrace every moment that we are blessed and given, right? So I do that as well when it comes to celebrating those that I love. So even if it is kindergarten, I know some people right now we're in graduation season and some are like, man, these kids graduating from everything. Like we used to just only graduate from 12th grade. And that is so very true. And I understand that perspective. But today, as I'm looking at the news and hearing the news of what just took place in an elementary school, School. almost becoming a norm where for me it still stings just as bad but we are not even as shook anymore because school shootings are something that are happening so much more that we we currently have drills for things like that where we were just having fire drills tornado drill natural disaster drills right but now we are in the schools preparing for someone to come in and shoot it's so we're in a society what i'm trying to get to is um that it's worth celebrating every minute every moment every milestone every birthday every thing that you are blessed with for me and mine i'm gonna celebrate it I know for some, they may be thinking, that's y'all doing too much. Sit down. You know, we can wait. Wait till they get to this age. Wait till the this anniversary. Wait till this particular year. But what if we don't make it? And oftentimes we see people who have been diagnosed with a terminal illness and they are giving so much time to live. We see it on TV. We may have experienced it. And they say, you know, enjoy every moment as you are waiting on that transition time. But why do we have to wait until we get news like that? Can't we just enjoy every moment today without there being anything bad attached to it? So I'm here to encourage you this evening. You can celebrate every aspect. Wear the outfit. If it is flamboyant and over the top, if you feel like wearing a sequence dress, baby, wear it. Okay? Who's to say you when you will get the chance to wear it again just because you're waiting on that special event, that special moment? Make today special. It is. Because you woke up. God gave you another day. That is special. It's a sequence moment. And is. Make every day a celebration. Enjoy the people you love. I also wanted to tag this in. We celebrate, and this is the educator part of me. We celebrate all of our students, and they should be celebrated, who have worked hard, who are valedictorian, salutatorian, who are in the beta club, who made the honor roll, who did all these great things when it comes to academically or if they were athletic or 
But here's what I want to encourage you to do as well while we're celebrating. Celebrate the babies who got up and went to school every day and gave their best effort. Celebrate the baby who was friendly to their classmates. Celebrate the baby who was just said good morning every morning to their teacher. Like in my head, in the classroom, I would give certificates, and I know elementary teachers do it a lot, where they give certificates to um, students and they have different titles for who did what or who was known for what and who was the helper for the year. That's the kind of thing I'm saying to continue to do all the way up through high school. Because a lot of times when we get to these ceremonies, we see the celebrations and the accolades for those who are athletes, those who have received scholarships, those who have, you know, done the work academically. And again, I'm not taking away from that. I know that is hard work. And I also know that not everybody deserves a trophy. I get that. But because today we're talking about celebrating, just because, let's celebrate even those small things. What some would call small, because I call it big. If you got a child or a student in class, that is just nice. That's just nice, because it's rare now. That's what's sad. That is rare. That a student that is nice or polite and friendly, helpful, those things have become rare. Celebrate it. And celebrate your own children, whether your school does it or not. If they don't give a ceremony, that's all right. Do one. And if it's not a full ceremony, just do something to make your baby feel special. It's the end of the year. Celebrate all that they have done, the accomplishments, the improvements. That's a celebration. If they improve, they may have struggled in something behavior wise, academically, but if they improved, find something to be positive about and celebrate. That's it. I'm about to be late for my event and I'm going to celebrate with a friend, um, with our Bible study women's group. We are finishing up a, um, a Bible study that we've been reading and I'm about to go celebrate with them. We meet on Zoom, but tonight we get to go in person. Celebrate. Celebrate good time. Come on. And, and for those of you who've been paying attention, yes, I had this on in the other TikTok video, but that's all right. Guess what? Why we buy these clothes? To wear them. I know. Okay. I'm gone now. Celebrate life because you've been blessed with it.